Right, let's pop into the woodsmiths. Woodsmiths, is that even the right word? This is the right word. <coughs> yeah? Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, <laughs> well, no, never mind. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't touch anything. Excuse me, could you take a look at this? Mmm, looks like a massive fracture. You're gonna be using this? I better reinforce it for you. Here you go, boy. Steel shank, alloy splints, better than new. I need it for free. Oh, nice, man. You're supposed to be cooking. I had to go to the bathroom. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Well. Wow. Can you go to the bathroom in this place? Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? Hey, hired help only. Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. No problem, mate. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. <laughs> Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. I'm a library card. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually, it's a fictional name. Oh, all right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have a Blue Whale. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the bloody lip. Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. I'll have Yellowbeard's baby. Well, you can try, but... I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. All right. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Ready, green drink. Yay! That's good. Right, let's uh... Go over here.
someone get a doctor! <laughs> but yeah, the concert art is still the same in the background, which is quite funny though. I do prefer this way of playing. Well, no I don't now, now that it's... It says, out on house call. Please come again. So, uh, so nasty of me really to steal from him, seeing as he didn't help me a lot, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the path. Let's go down here. No, the ship's there. Okay. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Booty Island One. Sightseeing. Cruises. Sightseeing. I love this guy. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. I'd hope not. Most of it used only for a few hours. Oh my God. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Premature burial. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. Mm. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing. When you first walked in here, I said, now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Really? Okay. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Can I show you anything else? Could you show, Could me, you show me that again? coffin again? Hey, anything you say. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? What an excellent idea. Look at how freely I can wiggle my toes. I almost forgot. I wanted you to have this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Now, where were we? Oh yeah. This thing's bigger than my kitchen. Sure, sure, try out the lid operation. It's just as roomy closed. Can I show you anything else? Can you show, Can you that show me that coffin again? again? No problemo. You know, a person's coffin should reflect their station in life. If you're thinking about one of those cheaper models, <laughs> first ask yourself, isn't my loved one worth the best? I hear you knocking up there. That's solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. I just hey, did that to pick up the key. I think the lid's stuck. Um, excuse me, friend. Could you see if the clasp is closed on this thing? I seem to be stuck. Nice finish. Hello. It's nailed shut. Is anybody out there? Yoo-hoo. Help. I nailed them in there pretty good. Don't think I can get them out. Well, they I must have fused with a Teflon gas.